open. Bismillah. So let's check it out what I have prepared for you for lesson two. Check it out. We have done element last week and I told you to memorize. Okay, I'm not expecting you to memorize all of it, but at least some of it. Because as you go along in this class, like I said, no rush. We have like to do it step by step. Sooner or later, maybe after a few months, three to four months, you might be surprised you memorize all of the symbol. Okay, for the 40 elements that we have done last week. So what, would, uh, what are we going to do? Okay, we are going to go deeper to study, meaning that we want to study about the element itself. So what is the best thing uh, to do is to study about the atom. Why atom are, the atom is in fact the simplest, okay? The simplest or the smallest unit of an element. And then we will learn about what an, uh, an atom looks like. And then we will especially look into uh, the, the atom of metal. And then we try as best as possible to see the atomic structure of metal, inshallah. Look, this is element. Okay, we got metal. So like I said, I am focusing on metal <laughs> for the time being. You can see like most of the metal are silver in color, grayish color, shiny. Some are actually having color here. Yeah? So we got different types of metal on earth. Let's say I took one metal here, okay, took one metal. If I were to have a microscopic eye, what do I see? Oops, I can see all this. A range, okay, in what we call a uniform pattern. One might say, it looks like balls or whatever, yeah? So this is what we call atom. So... The smallest unit for your metal, okay, are your atoms. So in other, you can see that when you can see this, oh, mashallah, yeah, you got atoms are arranged in a regular pattern. Why? Because metal is a solid. So this is what you see. Okay. Then what happened? Then we wanted to see one atom. Yeah, we wanted to study about one atom. Before that, what? Before that, we have like the metal. We got a lot of atom. Millions and billions. Yes, that's a lot. We cannot count them because we cannot see them. Yeah, they are really, really small. So now what I'm going to show to you is what we're going to do. We're going to study. We're just going to take one atom. There you go. So this is what we call... Okay, so how do you actually represent an atom in science? We call it atomic structure. This structure comprising of, okay, something in the middle, uh, something in the middle here, which is what we call nucleus. And the nucleus, what do they contain? Proton and neutron. If I were you, okay, you will get <laughs> this PDF uh, file anyway. So what is actually expected from you? You have to remember the structure. Okay. So the modern atomic structure, if you go back in history, is actually uh, one of the scientists. He was actually a chemist, uh, English, yeah? English chemist and physicist. The name is actually John Dalton. John Dalton is very famous. What is he famous for? Okay, he is even called the father of modern atomic theory. So he was the first. And then afterward, you know, until nowadays, we're still using the, the foundation, what John Dalton did. Of course, there is actually a some improvement and so on because we have better technology nowadays but uh, what you should be learning okay this is what you call the general atomic structure like i said before okay we have uh, 10 minutes more inshallah we have enough time yeah? so nucleus in the middle nucleus containing proton and neutron okay 
what else? Outside, we have electron. What is this circle? This circle is what we call orbital. Okay, so we got one orbital, we got two orbital. And then the term that I want you to get familiar uh, right with this week is what we call the atomic number. So what is actually atomic number? So I'm just going to stop presenting here. Check it out, yeah. There you go. I didn't write anything. So atomic number is, okay, if you can write it down, the number of proton. We have to remember this, yeah? memorize this. Number of proton, number of proton. Please do not, uh, do not write on my screen yeah? in the nucleus. So atomic number is the number of proton in the nucleus of an atom. So mass number is the number of proton. Okay, plus the number of neutron. Okay, why this come up? The number of proton plus the number of neutron okay in okay you can say of an atom or in the nucleus of an atom in the nucleus okay. so this week your your homework is to memorize this okay to memorize what is atomic number what is the mass number we we are not in a rush and then to identify, okay, to know the, the atomic structure of an atom. Okay, let's try to finish off the time. Uh, it may stop uh, any time, so it doesn't matter, yeah? If it stops, it stops. Let's just try to look one element here, which is sodium. You see sodium is in group one, if you look in your periodic table. If you look in your periodic table, you will see this number 11 and 23. So how to read from your periodic table? So the smaller number, which is 11 here, is your atomic number. So what is atomic number just now? Atomic number is the number of proton in your nucleus. Yeah, And then the bigger number, 23, is what we call the mass number. So what is mass number just now? It's actually proton plus your neutron. So we have 11 proton inside the nucleus and a combination of proton and neutron inside the nucleus is 23. We will go deeper inshallah next time. Then let's check it out. Uh, so you should, what is actually your skill? Your skill you should be able to what? You should be able to know how to draw the, the atomic structure for each of the element. Now, for example, this element is sodium. Okay. We already said this number representing the atomic number. And this is actually the mass number. So how to draw? I have a, a picture here. So first of all, you can actually just use a circle in the middle and put the symbol for sodium. So that is representing the nucleus. Okay. Now next time, okay, we will look at the periodic table, how to obtain the orbital. Orbital is actually look in the periodic table, the number of period. We will go in detail next week, inshallah. But this is just a brief introduction. What does the atomic structure of sodium looks like? We have three orbital. One, two, Three. What is actually an orbital where the electron are? So that is actually. <laughs> so the first orbital <laughs> can occupy two electron, two electron. So that's why we have two electron here. The second orbital eight electron. So two. They are always in pair. Yeah? When we, this is what you call the dot and the cross diagram. Okay. So we use a cross or you use a dot. We don't use like flower or cartoon. No, we don't do. We use dot and cross only. So 
two cross meaning two electron. Two, four, six, eight. Eight electron. And then one electron outside. But how do you know? I will teach you next week. No problem. So if you want to count, okay, all of this electron, how many electron? This is two, this is eight, ten, this is one. Surprise, surprise. You can see that the number, the total number of electron is the same as the total number of your proton in the nucleus. So I'm just going to make a comment here. Yeah? Let's go to just a comment. So we said number of proton. We just going to use symbol for proton equal number of electron. There you go. Yeah. So number of proton equals to number of electron. You see it? Atomic number representing the number of proton. And when I come here, I can see that I have 11 electron as well. So my conclusion is that, yes, it is correct to say that number of proton in an atom is the same as the number of electron. Okay. Or we can say that the number of proton inside the nucleus of an atom is the same as the number of electrons circling or orbiting the nucleus of an atom. That is very, very clear. Alhamdulillah. Yeah? So we will stop here. Alhamdulillah. Uh, so I do hope that uh, everything is clear for you, inshallah. Do not rush yourself.